Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, November the 11th, 2019. And what a great day it was today. Miss Vegas has a watch list for us. And something we just want to go over a few tickers. Yeah, so first of all, I just want to say uh, thank you to all the veterans for your service. And uh, we appreciate you very much. And also to all the veterans in uh, Canada as well. So thank you so much. Um, so now I'm going to talk about today's list, Boeing, Apple, TRNX, Update, Microsoft, and Tesla. So let's start with Boeing. So, you know, earlier today with Boeing, um, I was looking at the actual stock and the, and the tape, and I was noticing that the Bollinger Bands are getting really tight. And I thought, you know, I'm going to have to look to swing trade this option call, but I'm also going to look to trade it for the day just because I wasn't really too sure what's going on, but I did see some volume coming through here. So I did alert the uh, 360 calls at 53 cents, which is $53 for one contract. And all of a sudden, those contracts were popping left, right, and center, maybe within a few minutes, like not right away, but like after five minutes. And next thing you know, there was news and the news on Boeing was that they still think that it's going to be able to fly in the air next month. And that was the news because you guys know this is still grounded um, because of the fatal crashes, unfortunately. And, you know, fair enough. They should be grounded. Nobody nobody wants to be on those jets. Um, I mean, I don't even want to go on one. Uh, but they're saying that they're looking to have them up in the air soon. And I guess as a result, uh, the market did say, um, hey, look, we like the news. So, I mean, the action was on the tape. And uh, we do see that uh, quite a few people, I know for sure, made big money today. I mean, one guy in our room, he got in a little bit late, but he bought the contracts at 83 cents. And he took it all the way to $3,800. I mean, that is just insane. Over 1,000% gains on um, Boeing. That is a beautiful call. I'm so happy that people did well. And congratulations to many traders. Jim, let's hear about this Boeing chart because we might see a continuation. We might even see upgrades. Who knows what we're going to see? That you tell a, me what you're seeing on that chart. Well, that was a beautiful trade right there on Boeing that you made. Well, we're getting back up to the resistance levels. We definitely kind of broke a pivot point level in between where we needed to break. And that was past the 360 level. So we're at 366.96 into close. And we're going to look at here at the after hour chart. Right now we pulled back a little bit on Boeing at 366.08. That run right into the 200 SMA, which is one of the support levels that I use. So that's the 200. Then I've got the um, 34. And then I've got the 9 right here, this blue one. And you can see we kind of disrespected the 9, and now we've run into that 200. So this can pull back a little bit more, but a solid support level for right now needs to be this 365.34. If that doesn't hold, we could probably see another one right here at 362.50. And that's what I'm looking at. So there's one, two, and then the third one's going to be is three. 59.68 in resistance we got a break it's going to be this red one here at 367.10 this is Boeing so we'll keep a good eye on it momentum's always here we just got to find which way it's going and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be MSFT okay so we're going to talk about Microsoft all right I thought we we're going to talk about Apple we all right about so we're going to talk about Microsoft Pardon? Apple. Okay, talk about Apple. <laughs> so um, we'll talk about uh, Apple here. So I did want to mention, you know, Apple had a really good day here. Kept saying, again, new 52-week highs. Um, you know, Apple is definitely reportedly planning to launch their uh, reality headset um, in 2022. I know it sounds far away, but, you know, it takes a lot of technology to make these. Um, they're apparently going to even have a smaller pair of these glasses in 2023 that you can practically wear them all day um so the launch of these will come in 2022 and um it's basically going to get to a point where these glasses would be worn like normal glasses 
without the headset, okay? And this will replace uh, phones, computer screens, and televisions. Can you believe this? Like, where is this technology going? Like, you won't even need, like, your desktop anymore. You're just going to wear these glasses, and everything's just there. And you're just going to use your mouse and click, 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 and do what you need to do. I mean, this is just amazing technology. Like, the world is just changing so much. Um, so this will be interesting. And uh, again, new 52 week highs. I just want to mention too that I was reading a review from AirPod, um, those AirPods that came out and um, with the noise cancellation. And uh, the review was just outstanding that uh, they were using the AirPods, I think in uh, Chicago and it was so loud and having the noise cancellation made a huge difference. So hearing phenomenal success about the AirPods uh, so Apple is still super strong, great company, great products. I mean, this company is just phenomenal. Jim, let's hear about this phenomenal chart so far. All right. This Apple is just one beautiful company. Let's look at the yearly. Look at the yearly and the 20. You can see we're at a yearly high. We did hit a 262.47 today. We closed it right at 262.20. We rose from 142 from, oh, it's almost been 52 weeks now. And this is your 20 day right here from 233.20 all the way to 262.32. So let's pull back here at the 20 day and look at the 20 day on a bigger angle. Uh, I did have a support down here at 248.75. I was hoping it would pull back down there, but it didn't. It just kept on going up. Thing just keep on going. Just keep just wants to keep going. So I got a new resistance level. I'm gonna kind of jot right in here just by eyeing it out, right around 262.33. With a support level right here at 261. So let's pull up the daily. See if I missed anything. I did. There's probably something right in here. So we got kind of like a triple top to break up here, which could happen in the morning or it could pull back to this first support. And that's going to be at the 261.51. That's going to be critical to hold. If it doesn't, it can go back and pull back to these other two ones that I have right here. And that one right here is that. Oh, I think that was Friday's high at 260.30, 260.13. So that would be your low support resistance to break would be 262.33. And that's Apple. And the next one, Miss Vegas, is? Yeah, so we'll just talk about uh, TRNX just to give an update. I mean, we did mention this in the video yesterday, uh, just saying that TRNX could have definitely a continuation. And you know what? It did have a continuation from Friday's pop. We saw this go up today and uh, had a nice move in the market. And then, you know, we see here the pullback. I mean, obviously, we did chart this throughout the day. It did give the alert in the morning that I kind of saw 275, you know, as being the high of the day. And um, we did see it break a little higher than that. But, you know, we did see it pull back as well. And uh, we did say low support was, you know, 253 and maybe lower support at 243. So we did have people that sold the pop and then held some, maybe in anticipation that it would go higher. But then, you know what, when the 253 started breaking down and then down to 243, you know, people just cut their losses and got out of the trade, which was the right thing to do on this one. Um, that's not to say that TRNX doesn't have room to go more. I mean, don't forget, they have the... Um, the additional shares from the spinoff and uh, you know, there's going to be, you know, maybe a future PR coming out on this company. I mean, this is one, you know, to still watch and keep on your radar on your watch list. Um, and I guess, you know, keep watching from here, but Jim, let's hear about what we could see next and what you think would be a good entry spot based on the pullback here. Well, we did kind of talk about the breakout in the uh, video here. We said it could pull back or it could go ahead and break out and you see what happened. We sure had a nice little breakout on it. TRNX. You can't see much on the yearly chart, but you sure can tell a little bit on the 20 day. 
we're going to bring this to a little bit bigger sector here. This is a TTM squeeze chart. You can see we had the nice little breakout after hours. And then today she just right pre-market, she went all the way up, found her little channel, kind of held back and then pulled back here right into close. And we're going to look at, let's look at the, oh, right there at the one minute. See, we were getting into a support level right down in here, right around this area. But we, we did have kind of like a double top in this section right in here at 208. And we did go below that 208, which I already have drawn up here. So the next support level is going to be this 191 to 196. And that's going to be probably your first one, and your second one's going to be right here at 180. I'm still going to help um, be confirmed about my 152 strong support. If you ever see that number, that's time you might want to maybe grab you some, have a small position, and wait for events like this that just happened. This is TRNX, low support, 152. That first one is right there around 191, 196. And the resistance that we're going to have to break is going to be that 219 area. If we can get that 219, we can get back up to these other resistance levels. If not, she's going to settle back and pull back to this 152. That's TRNX. And the next one, Miss Vegas. Okay, well, the next one that we're going to be talking about is actually Microsoft. Um, so we did like Microsoft from Friday for a swing trade. Uh, we saw a nice continuation here on Microsoft. You know, Microsoft is leaned into what this called a hybrid story more than ever, you know, reinforcing it. Um, they believe that hybrid is permanent, not temporary. And they said that they do have competition from AWS and uh, Google Cloud. Um, you know, so, you know, this is just one to still watch because Microsoft's super strong. I mean, they did announce a new analytic service called Azure. Um, it is basically an offering that brings capabilities to its Azure SQL data warehouse solution. And what it's going to do is the company is going to combine the data and then the big data, and they're going to bring together structured and unstructured data. So this is what they call a Nirvana state. Um, so those of you that are into that kind of technology, but, you know, Microsoft is definitely one to watch because they have a lot of platform enhancements um, and uh, definitely they have a slew of big updates to their platform that's coming through. And so I think uh, Microsoft is due for another push. And we saw that today with the volume coming through and the uh, action on the tape. Uh, but definitely don't forget they're going to be launching Microsoft Edge and also Microsoft Bing, which the company hails as the browser and search engine of their business. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of things coming in, in play here with Microsoft. Um, so that's gonna be really, really interesting. Um, so keep on watch for, I'm sure, future news uh, releases about what's coming out with Microsoft. Jim, let's hear about that. You know, I think this is one of them stocks where you're gonna say, Wow, I wish I'd have got back in here when it was at 146. Maybe from a year from now. But it's already had a great run all the way from uh, 93, 96, all the way to 146, 42. And that's what we closed at. It's 146 at 11. Here's the 20 day chart. We did have kind of a little pullback here. And she ran up, had a good three day run, and then found a little channel, a little ascending triangle. And then today we had the breakout. That's we're going to pull up the 20 day. I always like looking at that 20 day, four hour, or maybe one hour. You see that little pullback, and you can see that little where we had the lower highs and the higher. Well, it kind of had a flat top, but actually there was a couple higher higher highs. But you know you see where the triangle is, and then today, bam. So we got a new resistance level. We got a break, and that's going to be right here at 146.41. And you can see right here where we had that double top. So it's kind of going to be like a double top breakout, but that's also an ascending pattern for the 
breakout to happen. We still got Monday and or we got Tuesday and Wednesday for this trade to continue. So let's pull up the one hour, see if I missed anything here. I'm gonna say a little support level right in here. Then we got another one right down here, right about there. So these are your three support levels. You get the 145.83, that 145.38, and then that 144.88. No lower than that. And the resistance that we got to break, the 146.41. And that's Microsoft. And I think that's it for the report. No, I wanted to talk last one. No, no. One last one. Okay. Um, Jim is uh, Tesla. So Tesla. Just wanted to mention about Tesla. Okay. And uh, we talked about this one, how this had a nice little pop this morning, pre-market, because uh, it did get an upgrade from Jeffries today. And the upgrade was that Tesla would go to $400, was their new target. Uh, part of the reason that they gave this uh, increase on the target is that they said that they've uh, raised their 2020 EBITDA estimates for Tesla by 24% because they said that the company stabilizing the performance in 2019 and that their company is setting up for growth in 2020. Um, you know, that's actually, if you remember back in June, 2017, uh, Tesla's all time high price was 383.45. So, I mean, can you imagine going back to those uh, prices? Um, but they do expect higher earnings on Tesla. They also expect an improved balance sheet from the company going forward. Um, they also did mention that there is a clear trend of cost performance. They are producing more affordable versions of their cars. It's actually showing that it can maintain gross margins, which is really the difference between how much car sells for and what does it cost to actually make the car. Um, so I think that's great. Um, we saw Tesla pop, but then we did see it pull back. Um, so Jim, I just want to hear your thoughts on that chart and definitely keeping it on watch tomorrow. Well, I definitely like the Roadster. So we're back in that <clears throat> area that I really like, that $300 area, anything above that. And we're, we're definitely starting to respect that again. And I think with these upgrades and that little bit of uh, selling off and correction that we did have was, was what we were looking for. So we're getting past that resistance level again. And let's look at the 20-day. 20 day one hour we're a little resistance level right there which will become support another one right there another one right there and we've got another one right right down right about in here so we got <clears throat> three different support areas 325.54 and actually, you got one right in here. Yeah, I got to put that 329.25. So we had we've had a pretty nice little run sneak up here, right in right behind us. I'd say a pretty nice little run, and it needs to pull back. That 340.76 would be what I would be looking for. 340.76 for maybe a critical entry, for maybe a new channel. But that's kind of that's kind of your resistance area. This first one, 347.34, would be your, for right now, would be your hard one. Low support, 325.54. Tesla, and that's it. All right. Well, you know what? I want to thank everyone for listening to the top five at five and uh, hopefully give you some ideas or things to watch uh, for continuation tomorrow. And uh, by all means, please like, follow, and subscribe for more educational content that we put out on a regular basis. As always, you're welcome to come to our chat room. Link information in description of video. Have a great night, everyone. All right. That's the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim, November the 11th, 2019. And we love stocks. <laughs>